Without a doubt, this is probably uh, one of the greatest things that ever happened to me and my family. I was talking to a couple of former players today, and they said that uh, make sure you make it short. Well, I've been told that for 52 years by my wife. I'd like to uh, introduce my, my family to you, and I'm certainly not going to call them all individually because it will take us a couple of hours. But the lady that, uh, that I've been married to for 52 years, the mother of my five children, and certainly we all know be behind any successful man there's a woman, and she, she's been that, she's been that, that woman. Because there's a... Because there's a joke that a lot of us baseball players know there was a gentleman that played for the Pittsburgh Pirates many, many years ago who was a tremendous home run hitter. And in the trade, baseball, bad hands of the type of person that can't catch the baseball well. And they said behind his wife, she better wear a glove. Today is my oldest daughter's birthday, Christina Fenner. There's a, a lady here that uh, we, we all know, and certainly uh, my family and I, and baseball is indebted to, because without Mr. Ricky, Mr. Robinson, Mr. Vec, and Commissioner Chandler, I might not be standing here in front of you today. And that lady is in the orders. Mary Frances Vett. Will you stand up, please? <laughs> to receive this honor, there are a lot of people that I want to be a part of this particular honor that I'm getting today. I was born in a little small town in South Carolina called Camden. And there are a lot of people who had a lot to do with the success that I've had. Moved to Patterson, New Jersey. Doing high school. And those people had a lot to do with my success. From, high, from Patterson, New Jersey, to the New Eagles, played against and with some of the greatest ball players that ever put on the uniform. From the New Eagles to the Cleveland Indians. And I must say this, that that town treated me and my family with the greatest respect that any man could want. I want to thank the Veterans Committee for, for, for this honor, and certainly Gene Budick, President of the American League, all the people that work in the Commissioner's Office, American League, National League, you, you've been just great, and, and I'm certainly glad that you can share this honor with me. You know, it's a very tough thing to look back and think about things that were probably negative because you put those things on the back burner. You're proud and happy that you've been a part of integrating baseball to show people that we can live together, we can work together, we can play together, and we can be successful together. 
And I'm very happy and proud that I've been a part of this baseball, and I'm still a part of it. Am I a commissioner? Am I still a part of baseball? Thank you. Now we can eat. We can still eat, girls and boys. But, I, I, you know, everything I've got, everything my family's got, we've, we've, we've got it from baseball. And if someone had told me 51 or 52 years ago that I would be standing here being honored by the Hall of Fame, I wouldn't believe it. But thank God I've lived long enough, and I certainly appreciate it. And to all the Hall of Fame, all the people that work for the Hall of Fame, we thank you very much for your hospitality. Thank you. I just got one thing I'd like to say to you and to all the Hall of Fame, fame uh, members. I've got a, a telephone call from one of the greatest people that I know and had the privilege of playing against, Ted Williams. I thought I'd let you know that. <laughs>